Hey guys, so we are going to be painting some pumpkins today. This is my second painting tutorial, so here we go. Okay, so we are going to have three different designs that we are going to do. And the first one is an abstract kind of Picasso inspired pumpkin. Very different art than I usually do, but super fun and really easy. So the materials that you will need, of course, include a pumpkin. This one I found at the grocery store. It was this light pale peachy color, which I loved. Um, so for this one, if you can find a pumpkin that's kind of light in color, that will probably be best. You will need some acrylic paints. These are the colors that I'm gonna be using, but you can use whatever colors you want. You will need a palette for your paint, a cup of water, a paper towel or a cloth to wipe your brushes on and then of course some brushes of different sizes. You can also put your paints on um, wax paper. So I actually put my pumpkin on the wax paper and then laid out my paints right on it, which is super easy and you can just throw it away when you're done. And I'm obsessed with this kind of shimmery copper color. So any of metallic paints will look awesome as well. Um, but I'm just gonna get started and start painting some random shapes. I'm doing some rainbows, some spots, um, some rectangular shapes, some circles. Um, just kind of have fun. It's an abstract inspired pumpkin. So you can do whatever you want. For the shapes, I would say just make sure you have really clean edges, so you might have to go over them um, a few times, especially with the lighter colors, they might need a couple coats. These polka dots I'm doing a little bit thicker and the paint is a little bit darker of a color, so I'll just need one coat for those. Um, but it might require a couple coats on some of the shapes and make sure to fill pretty much your whole pumpkin up, fill up all the kind of empty spaces as much as you can with funky shapes and have fun with it. So once the paint has dried, we can go back in and start outlining some of the shapes and adding some lined face drawings. So I just went on Pinterest and typed in abstract face line drawings. And these are some of the ones that came up for inspiration. And then I grabbed a notebook and did some drawings on that to practice. I then copied the face drawings onto the pumpkin and I found it easier to use a really thin paintbrush and some black paint as opposed to a Sharpie or a pin. Um, I found this to be a little bit easier. It flows a little bit better and it's a little bit faster and doesn't take the paint off from the shapes that you've already drawn. So I also started to add some black lines around the shapes. I also added kind of some polka dots, some other little lines, and just kind of had fun with it. So as you can see, I added some more faces and some more details to the pumpkin using the black paint. So remember to have fun with this. This is an abstract painting, so it does not need to be perfect. The lines do not need to be straight. Um, it's also kind of hard to paint on a pumpkin, so give yourself some grace and just have some fun with it. So for the next one, you're gonna need a small white pumpkin and you're gonna need some wax paper, a bucket of some kind. I'm just using an old paint bucket some nail polish, it can be any color, some toothpicks, or I'm just using some straws, but toothpicks would be better. Okay, so you are gonna fill up your bucket with room temperature water, um, just enough to where your little pumpkin will be submerged and make sure it is room temperature water. You're then going to pour in a little bit of your nail polish. 
and you can use as many colors as you want. Probably the more, the merrier. You're then gonna get your toothpick and swirl the colors around to kind of get this marbling effect. And then you are going to dip your pumpkin into the solution. Then go ahead and set it on your wax paper to dry. And you might need some nail polish remover to get some nail polish off your nails and fingers when you're done. But the end result is pretty cool. So the last design that we will do today involves this little pumpkin and a pen. I'm using a white acrylic pen, um, but you can also use a Sharpie for this one as well. So you're gonna grab your pen and write the prompt I am thankful for. You are then gonna list all the things that you are thankful for. This could be a really fun family activity where everyone adds what they are thankful for to one pumpkin where each family member has their own pumpkin. But by the end, it should be totally filled up and look something like this. I hope you guys enjoyed my pumpkin painting tutorial. Please tag me in your guys' creations. I would love to see what you guys do. And remember, keep art fun and relaxing and it should be therapeutic. Um, so just have fun with it and enjoy.